Hi, my name is Chris White with Corson Fire and Security. So we're going to talk about two big changes in NFPA 2001, which is the standard uh, the FM200, Novak 1230, and inert systems fall under. Two of the biggest changes is, first one I want to talk about, is supervision of your releasing device. So here we have our release device, but here we also have our supervision device. So if this release device was to be removed off any agent container, it's going to cause a supervisory signal on the releasing control panel. This is important, so in case for some reason where someone were to remove it because of maintenance and forgot to put it back on, the control panel will never clear out of its supervisory mode until the proper release device has been placed back on the agent container or containers. One of the other big changes that need to be considered is proper training for the personnel that could be in or around any uh, closure that's going to be protected by these clean agent fire suppression systems. They need to understand how to react, an SOP for the facility, how to safely evacuate the area, what it means on certain alarm conditions and or trouble conditions so proper maintenance and or service can be accomplished uh, if need be.